Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to today's workout, tricep full body. We have five blocks of work today, three moves, 30 seconds of full out effort with a quick five second transition to make this a tricep. That means we're gonna do back to back, short break and do a repeat. This is a full body workout. That means we're gonna be hitting the arms, the legs and the core. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Do make sure that you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any workouts. Roll the shoulders back. Keep those feet about shoulder width apart. We're gonna start with some squats. In your squat, I want your eyes to stay lifted. Press through your heels, especially when you're rising up. So you can start slow, and then you can start to pick up that pace. And really start to push through the heels to rise up and brace the core to move that little bit faster. Lateral lunge to the right, only to the right. And then let's add the arms. Just do reach all the way up and all the way down. Step in, let's go to your left. To get to the ground, you gotta bend that knee and then really reach up. Come to the front of your mat, do a little inhale reach, dive it down, step back to plank, down dog, back to plank, little chaturanga down, give me up dog. Back to down dog and plank chaturanga, up dog, down dog stay, walk the dog, step into the hands, roll it up, and two sumo squats. So widen and then we drop. And again, we can do, use the arms. Gonna get nice and warm. Step in, step out. And a light jog or march it out. Try to bring your hands face cheek to butt cheek. Little knees up in the front. And then jumping jacks, you can tap or fold jack. And squat. Pick up that pace. Core tight. And we're done. Ooh, he'll twist. The first movement that we're gonna do is a shoulder press. I'm gonna be using eight pounds. Shoulder presses, then I'm gonna go for wide curl, then overhead extension. I'm using eight. You can always change the tempo you could alternate the arms. You could change the angle, right? You can turn the palms one way, then the other. Or stay with where it's the hardest range too. That would be hard, of course. Bicep curls, I'm gonna go wide. Open up the chest and then right into that bicep curl. And the same thing, you could do alternating, to find middle range. Wrist is straight, core is tight. Make sure you feel squeeze at the top. Mm -hmm. 
Overhead extension, arms up. We bend the elbows and then straighten them back up. Inhale to lower, exhale to press up and in. And maybe you just crank it up one tiny bit here. And I'm staying with the eights because it makes it easy for my transition. So maybe you find that kind of moderate weight that you can use for all three movements. Short break. Right, relax, you're gonna hear a beep. We're not ready yet. Just 10 seconds, we're gonna go back to that shoulder press. Rack it up, core strong, press it up. So maybe just drop it to around the ears and then press all the way up. The further away it is, the harder it's gonna be. When we have that faster tempo, your heart rate will stay elevated. Or even when you do heavy weights, oh my gosh, when you do heavy weights, your heart rate spikes up too. Wide curls. Another option too, if you come back, you can do kneeling, you can be on your knees. Hammer curl. Up squeeze, come on. Overhead extension. Bring it up. My weights are going to touch. Bend, extend. Pull your belly up and in, a little arch in that low back. To me, it always feels like you're gonna throw something over your head. Boom, right? Whew. All right, short break. Get a sip of water. That block is done. We're gonna move into the second block and we're starting with squats. So I'm actually gonna double up my weights. I'm gonna use five with my eight to give me my heaviest load that I have here. Squat, knee up. We're gonna alternate those knees. Weight is at the shoulders. the first 15 seconds we're gonna do knees come up and then we're gonna stay in just the squat you can keep doing knees if you want to all right stay in the squat drop and lift and tempo up pressing the heels deadlift right leg single leg deadlift weight to chest squat deadlift Squat, same leg. I'm staying with the same weight. Because you're super strong in those legs. Flat back, chin up. Deadlift to have a straight leg. You can always bend your knee. Switch legs, left leg. Deadlift to squat. Inhale down. Exhale up. Check your posture. Just slow it down. Push your butt back in that deadlift. Ooh. Sumo squat, one dumbbell. I'm gonna use eight. Drop and in. Now we step it in. 
making sure you're trying to click your heels. Use those inner thighs. All right, back to squats. Oh, yeah, a few more seconds. 10 seconds. Woo! All right, it's up, right? Squat knee. Left knee. Then right. All right, here we go. Get a little deeper. Use that core. A squat now. Come on, push your butt back. Push those hips forward. Dead lift. Whew, my heart was staying up. Dead, dead lift. Squat. Nice squat. That's going down to my heel. If you find a range that works for you, Ooh. back to that leg. Here we go, left side. Pull the belly up and in. Protects your back. Ooh. A wobbly on this leg. One dumbbell. A sumo squat. Swing. In. Keep your eyes up. Come on, 10 seconds. And you're gonna get some water. Good job. Oh. Okay, let your heart rate come down. Get a little bit of water. And we're gonna lighten our load. I'm gonna do row. And then I'm gonna use same weight, flip it to fly. And then I'm gonna come down into plank, actually on my knees, and use a three pound weight for I and T. Whew. Grab what you need, meet me back here for row. We're gonna start off with that row. So I want your back nice and flat. If your weights are light, keep it wide. My, legs, my weights are light here. Pull and push. Get the chin off your chest, look out in front and try to get your back as flat as you can. And how do you do that? You gotta lower the chest down, but pull the belly in. That's gonna protect your back. If it doesn't feel good, come up a little bit higher. You can change tempo. Slow or fast. I'm kind of fast because I have light weights. Remember, we're gonna flip on the back for fly. On your back, I'm gonna bridge as I fly. Open and close. Drop the hips, lift the hips. Press through the heels of the hands and through the heels of your feet. And again, you can change tempo. Depends on your weight. So if you see, I am in the basement where I grew up in North Dakota. Right, flip it. I and T in a plank position, right arm. I and T. So I'm on the knees, but my hips are dropped. It's like I'm doing a, a plank, a modified plank here. Great for the shoulders 
and your back, so for posture. Knees are open, that's gonna help your base so you feel secure. And down the front. Other arm, I'll change my position here. I and T. So again, I'm looking out in front, keeping my hips lowered. If it's too much weight, hey, you could do zero, you could do a water bottle. Woo. Okay, we're gonna go back into that row. Take a deep breath. Still have 10 seconds. You can always change your hand grip. I'm gonna do the second set, palms facing you guys. Drop the chest. And you can pretend that you have a barbell so that you can't bring the hands inward towards one another. That's going to make it harder. Because I always tell you, your body is smart. It knows how to cheat. It knows how to make something easy. So it'll even be like this. So this is easy. Hey, wind it out. Bring the heat. From this, we're going to go to that fly. Quick transition, hips up, weights up, drop and squeeze. So you can even change bridge. Right, I give you guys lots of options. Do what feels good to you. IT, spells it, let's do it, right arm. <laughs> I, and T, you wanna be a beast? Oh my gosh, go here. You feeling like a beast today? Some days today, I'm not a beast. Might be the cold weather here, like minus 25. What the heck? Ooh. Good range, don't cheat. Switch, here we go, left arm, same thing. I to T. This is a good one, right? You get your other arm, you get your core, you get your back. Shoulders. You're smoking. Mm. Woo. All right, you guys, relax just for a moment. We're moving on to that block four. We're starting with lateral lunges. The right, you can hold the weight up. I'm actually going to hold the weight up, makes it harder. I got two weights here, eight and five. Step to the left, and then over to your right. And a front load is gonna make you work your core more. So it has to keep you upright. And I brace when I come down. I inhale, and then exhale on the top. Step up. To keep my heavy load, stepping up with the right and tapping down with the left. So my foot stays on the bench. Come up all the way. Don't stop, turn off the lights, nauseous when I wake up, don't quit. Switch the legs. All right, come on up. So if it's a lower step, maybe you're going faster. 
higher step can be slower. After this, we're doing a glute bridge with our feet on the edge of the chair. You take options if you need. So I'm down, quickly transition. Woo, feet on the edge and I'm bridging. Hips are on my weight, our weights are on my hips. My chair is moving. Hey, okay, that's okay. It's like a challenge. It's like an extended bridge. Okay, we're up. Actually, I pushed my chair. Whew, so it doesn't move. Whew, 10 seconds, lateral lunges. You got starting to get a sweat here. Weight is up. Let's go to your left side. To the right. Drop butt back. Watch your furniture in your house, right? And your legs are strong. They should be able to do some of the heaviest weights that you have at home. Step ups. Whew. Right foot. We're up. Make sure you do have a secure chair if you're using it. You can always change where the weight is. Switch legs. Woo. So do you feel that steady state heart rate? Oh, yeah. And obviously, you can always load at the top. I'm gonna load up. Feels different. Exhale up. Inhale down. Bridge is coming up. All right, I'm gonna come on down, hustle as quickly as you can, but safe. Push up and down with the hips. Add resistance if you can. All right, it feels different. Heels or toes on the edge of the chair or on top of the chair. Okay, relax. Whew. Hug the knees in. We're gonna finish with core. So we're gonna turn it up a little bit here. We're gonna throw in some kicks and a burpee. Get a drink of water and meet me back here. Whew. No equipment, it's a side kick and then a burpee. Take out the burpee if you don't want to hit the ground. You can just do the side kicks. Keep it tight. Side kick. Burpee. Get the entire core with this move. Obliques and transverse. Hold your guts in. Mountain climbers. Hit the plank or stay up. And knees. Slow or fast. Front, chin up. 
We flip on the back here in five. Look up at the sky. We tuck the knees in, roll to the side of the hip, push out, in, roll to the side, press out. So up, over, push, up, over, push. This one, it feels good to have the head up. Arms can push down to the ground to help you. It's a hip lift with rotation and then extend out. Rock up. Whew. 10 seconds. Take a deep breath. Going back to those side kicks with the burpee option. Kick here. Down back. Okay, quick with the feet. Back in. Come on, one more burpee. Mountain climbers. Hit that plank, climb it. So I'm starting a little slow, like a gallop. Turn it up. Flip in in three, two, one, flip. Head up, lift up and over, extend out, up, rotate. So my hips come up, do a little hip lift to rotate to the other side. Hold it out, hold. Wait until all the beats are done, okay? Hold it, head up, reach. Oh, yes. Nice job, you guys, you are done. Knee sway, arms in T, knees are bent. Drop to the front of the room, stack the knees. Take that hand on your ribs, palm up. Reach that arm by your ear, and then back down in T. Other arm reaches out, knees to the back, hand on the ribs. Reach the arm up by the ear. Bring it back into T. Knees back into the chest. Grab to the outside of the knees. Pull them wide. That was awesome. That was like 30 minutes of just pure go. If you feel like you want more, I'll link a core workout up in the corner. Seated position. <clears throat> Give me a wide straddle. <sighs> Let's take elbow into knee, side stretch. Lift up and then drop. I'm just gonna move a little bit. Nose to knee. Coming up, other side, elbow in, side stretch. And then nose to knee. Touch your nose to your knee. Bring it up, flip it, all four. Doing some cat around the back. And then relax, look up. Do that again, exhale. And hold. From there, down dog. 
Step your right foot forward and lunge. Runner's lunge and a twist to the back. Knee goes down, lift up. Side bend and back to down dog. Left leg step forward. Runner's lunge with a twist. Come back to center, knee down, reach up. Side, stretch side. Oh, that feels good. Center, step to the front. Arms in T, thumbs reach back. Thumbs reach down. Stretch out your wrist. Pat your back. You're gonna hit it all. Your arm. Flexibility helps you recover. Keeps your muscles lengthened out. And then round forward. Open the chest for time round. Elbows go back. Oh, big inhale, you guys did amazing today. Way to bang through this, pull it down into your heart. One more time, big inhale, reach out, reach up. And then bring those hands into your heart, touch your skin, so the beating of your heart that's keeping you alive. And you just gave back to it, so that is awesome. Thank you guys. Ooh, thank you for joining me. Make sure you do comment, give it a thumbs up, and check out all my other videos. Hey, you guys, plenty of options. Depends on how you're feeling, but you guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you back here on the mat. Bye.